Hello, everybody. I'm coming in to do my monthly channel messages. I am recording from my bedroom. <laughs> Welcome to my bedroom. I, um, I have family visiting, so my office has a mattress on the floor there. Uh, <laughs> so um, I'm in here, plus I'm also in bed. I'm supposed to be in bed. I'm not well. Uh, I've been not feeling very well. So, but here we are. And, um, but I need to get the monthly channel messages done. And I was tired of laying in bed. So we're going to do those. So I'm starting with Aries. So um, as my dogs decide, it's a good time to wrestle. So, which is a good, good way to start. So for Aries, for the month of, month of May, 2022, I feel as if a lot of a lot of the Aryan energy has really truly been wrestling with um, a lot of different scenarios, scenarios and situations over the past few years. We talk about this lot. We talk about Chiron. Talk about Chiron being in the Aries sign. We talk about. Uh, we've talked about over the the past few years. You know the challenges that Aries have met have been met with, and and I'm not saying it's all gone or you're never going to be met with challenges again. But I feel like for a lot of the Aries, there's a lot of cycles that are ending and some of those are old karma. So old karma energy that is now being um, like you're being freed from it, like it's no longer able to own you, have such control over you. And a lot of this was your choice. Like you made a choice, you did the work, you did what you needed to do to do the things that were right for you. And so you've, you've conquered a lot of that that which needed to be conquered within your own life or in your own energy. So, um, so we're coming into this May month with a sense of where do we go from here? And what is the journey from here? And I feel like for a lot of the Aries people, you're probably trying to like trying to rush things or thinking, Oh my God, what am I going to do? How am I going to show up? What am I going, what's going to happen now? And we're just being told to just slow slow this is still a, a bit of a rest period and just let life unfold and i'm just looking out at the clouds and i'm like there's an angel in my sky in my sky looking going across like flying over and i'm like the clouds have an angel and the angelic realm is very present with us um at all times so i do feel like we you know it's like look up look out and become you know really observe how protected we've been through some of these challenges over the past few years it has not been easy nor you know nor has it been that you haven't had to put the work in yourself but it definitely has been a time of um being freed a little bit here this dog is crazy yeah. for those who don't know that's sydney and she talks and she's a toy yorkie <laughs> and uh and she's very vocal about things and she can't get up and down. So she depends on me for everything <laughs> and she gets mad at me. So for our Aries energy, I put you up there for a reason. For Aries energy coming in and recognizing this like pause, like I'm really looking up. I just keep getting this hand movement. So I got to do this hand. I keep getting like this, like, 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 um, I feel like it's like, that howl at the moon it's like this gratitude like thank you thank you thank you thank you for 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 guiding me through thank you for getting me through thank you for not giving up and that's one thing about aries energies we're pretty freaking resilient right we 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 don't give up very easily we have a some would like to call it a stubborn streak um i would like to call it a determined very resilient very much no kind of quitter but there's times when we need to surrender in and sometimes we have to surrender in, in to allow things to fall away. So we may have been, you know, you may have been resisting that and still resisting that. And we're just saying, we're just being told to like, let that go now. Like, like let yourself fall into whatever needs to be released, surrendered, let go. Don't be, don't be holding on any longer because those cycles are in that you've, you've paid your dues. You have paid your dues in life. And and now it's time to start moving forward and getting to the core of things, getting to the center of things, getting to the bottom of some truth. And so I do have this coming up, Aries, and I'm using the crow to row today with this as well. Um, I have this coming up. 
I have this coming up of a sense of you're getting to the core of a story and or a truth that some, some, not all, remember this is not replacing a medical psychological advice. This is also not for everyone. If it resonates with you, take what resonates, what doesn't, just let go. If none of it resonates with you, it's not for you this month. I'm, I am reading through the energy of those born under the sign and asking for the messages that are for the collective, right? So this is a collective reading. So what I'm getting is that essence of I just feel like you're getting to the core of some truth and we're seeing truth being exposed everywhere, but you're also getting to that sense of finding out some truth for yourself, knowing some new truth. And I just feel like you've all, for some of you, you've already decided you're done. It could be in a relationship. It could be in um, a job. It could be in anything, but I feel like you've already made that decision. I am done. I'm, I just, you know, it's almost like, I wanted that full proof. I wanted that full validation. I wanted to know all the truth, but you're not going to get all the truth, right? But so, but you're you're settling with the fact of of I have to live with my own truth. And can I live with living with those lies? Can I live with with knowing there's something not right, feeling that gut feeling? So you're being told to not to neglect your your gut feeling this month. Not ever. It's like, what is my gut telling me? What is that sense of, of truth that I just feel like is coming through for me? And if you make excuses and, and, um, and kind of do the filler work of, oh, maybe that's not it, but you know what you're doing is you're ignoring red flags. So there's a lot of red flags and not to ignore those red flags. Not to ignore those red flags, to really truly recognize this. So I have the King of Pentacles, and I have a split apple in this picture, which is which is what came up for me. And this King of Pentacles is you you notice his crown is not right on his head, and there's the star, you know. And I keep getting that crowning glory, you know. Is your crowning glory of your life going to be? Um, is your crown and glory going to always be the, um, that, that victim story, or is it going to become the hero story? Is it going to become the story of you saying that it's not that you got to conquer every mountain or, or prove people wrong, but just say, you know, like, I'm not discounting myself anymore. I see my truth and I see where, um, I've allowed other people's needs, wants from me to use or to uh, thinking that I had blinders on or whatever it may be and ignoring that. I keep getting like, hmm, I keep getting like there's somebody standing right here, not getting, I know there's somebody standing right here. Somebody standing right here and I just had to get up. I had to go get my, I had to go get my light, (laughs) white light oracles. Um, I have to pull one of those too. So I get, there's somebody right here and I can feel them right here. And I just know with everything that's in me that this is Archangel Gabriel. And I just feel like you're being pushed forward. I seen the flicker of light come in over here when we first started. So if you go back to the beginning, you may also see it, but I've seen a light enter in the moment I started. And I'm like, why did I have to get up out of bed? And as you can see, my pillows are messy. And I'm sketching over there. And, and I'm like, why did I have to get up and do this now? And I just feel like it's like some of you may be at that pivotal turning point where you're starting to feel like for yourself, like, am I going mad? Like, am I doubting? Like, is it me? You're doubting yourself instead of doubting somebody else. And you're just being told to not to doubt yourself. Doubt somebody else's motives. Doubt those, those motives of other people around you. I feel like it's like you've kind of made yourself out to be the bad person, the enemy sometimes, and you're not that. So you've been at war and battle with yourself and it's because of the wounded healer energy. It's because of the Chiron. It's because of all the challenges that you've met with so that you could learn to find for yourself, to stand up in that own truth, to stand up in your own light, to be there for you, to be present in your, you know, to be present with you and just say, I'm taking a freaking stand for myself. <laughs> As Sid is having a, and that's jazz. 
this is just having a little meltdown. Hold on. Like taking that little stand for you, not a stand. You're like, you're stepping up and Gabrielle is like, I just feel like I'm being pushed over. It's like being pushed forward. And I know Gabrielle is pushing me forward as well because there's a whole lot of the past few years where I myself have been operating on half capacity. Like I have not fully been in. You've seen me be back and forth, up and down. I've doubted my, my, my gifts, my worth, my everything. Like it's been a real challenge. And we're being told tonight in this reading at this time being recorded on May the 4th, 2022, may the force be with us, that it's time for us to be able to start having, tapping in and accessing those happy genes, those joy genes, those beautiful relationships, beautiful opportunities, beautiful jobs, doing good things that we love to do, getting to the core that not everybody is for us. And it's okay. And it doesn't mean some people are even bad people. It just means some people suck the freaking life out of you. And if you're feeling it and you know it, you have to, you have to start, see these messengers, these crows are just like messengers tonight. We have to start really truly walking that truth again, standing up and standing that truth. And I have the, I have the four of cups, but it's in reverse. And I just feel like it's been a frosty freaking cold. <laughs> And sometimes you need warm, sometimes you need cool, right? And so I just feel like it's it's just like there's like I feel like there's something new to access, and I feel like it's that happiness gene. I feel like it's the essence of the old karma, could be old black magic curses, uh, anything this lifetime, any other lifetime that has been placed upon you, that has been put upon you, anyone else who even so much as talks to about you in such a negative way, attach an energetic cord. And those energetic cords get stuck in. And if we're not constantly clearing, resolving, removing, doing our own healing work, if we believe and take responsibility for all that shit, then where do we end up, right? And so what we're being told is to no, 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 no. And we have the devil card and this devil has this beautiful blue bird. And if you blue jays are about, you know, new beginnings, it's about uh, truth, trueness. Um, and, and he's on tying that, that leash. And so taking off the mask is what I feel like. I feel like it's like, we can't see the Ravens wearing the mask and it's like taking off the mask. And I feel like, that sometimes that mask that we wear is believing what other people are telling you. So whether it is narcissistic or whether it's someone who's, who, who wants what you have, like wants to be your light or take that light, or it's just something that's not for you. I just feel like you're just getting to the core of a lot of truths that are coming in here. I have the hermit. I feel like you've been in the hermit and now it's like, and it's in reverse. So it's saying, you know what? You've been here long enough. It is time to come up. It is time to come out. It is time to start moving forward again. And so when we look at this, the thing that stands out in this devil card to me, and I'm writing this everywhere. And it is the it is this red stone that to me looks like a ruby. And this ruby to me is representing that of our royal and loyal self, right? That's what I'm getting. That's our royal and loyal self. And I just feel like it's like on tethering or on tying, taking off the shadow that lets you, that has allowed you to believe that during all these challenges that I must be like some sort of peasant energy. I must be here to always be in the struggle. I must have always be in the lack of. No, Aries are not that. So wherever that has come from, that's everything that we are not in the Aries energy. So we are being guided to move, to start moving up and beyond that, that we're being freed from this, starting to, you know, recognize there's a new, something new for us to access, which is in the happiness, the joy energy, that you're not going to be hiding. I do feel like I got two of the stars coming up, like lots of stars, right? And I, I do feel like 
star seed, um, but I but I also have that star of David. I'm following the light, following the light, following your truth. And it doesn't mean your truth is for everyone else, but it's for you. And your truth means that if you know that you're constantly miserable and unhappy and sad, or that you know that the last few years, like everything in your life has become blah, and like nothing has been, there was a pizzazz about it before and it wasn't there, then what came into your life what started to interfere to your life and what and who started to tell you stories about what and who you should change amongst your, about yourself and start to look at that in a big way, but also look at where you've, where you've sacrificed a lot of yourself. And of course we've came, we've just come through a lot of things and we're still in a lot of energy. We're not going to see the full end of all of this for a few more years, but we can, we can be at peace with ourselves, but this whole being, you know, it's being liberated also holds you to. So don't be so stuck in a conviction of, of a belief system that you hold so strong that you're, that is unbreakable because, you know, our beliefs have to have some sort of change. Gabrielle is just pushing us, guiding us, just saying, follow this light, be with this light and allow this light in. Archangel Michael is coming in to tell us it's time for us to cut the cords. It's time for us to allow ourselves to cut any energetic cords, any ties to people, things, places, situations that no longer serves our highest good moving forward from the force be with us. So using his, using his amazing, beautiful light sword that he can cut these cords for us, take back this energy and transmute it back to us as wisdom and guidance so that we can use it for the highest good of a purpose moving forward to guide us without re without returning to these cycles again, without coming back here again. And there's Archangel Michael, and there's the sun, and there's our new beginnings. So we have Archangel Michael, and it's like those worries, those unnecessary worries. It's like sometimes people are putting worries in your heads or trying to get you to overanalyze, overthink things, too much of cross the eyes and make sure of this and make sure of that because of their own fear stories. And that you are very like, I can like, just, just take a leap and just leap. And now it's like, you've stopped, you're assessing everything, you're not taking the leaps. And it's time to start taking leaps. And so what you're holding on to is a lot of regret, guilt and worry, and you're holding on to it. And you were, you know, it's like, well, I feel bad for somebody else, or I can't give somebody else what they want, or sorry, my hips and back are so bad. I got to keep lifting up my legs. Um, and so if you want your desired outcome to be, to be that happiness gene, to be that essence of a joyful life, you got to stop giving all of your joy and happiness away. You got to stop giving your flame away. You got to stop dulling your light and your flame and stop believing the narratives, the stories that others tell you about what a problem you may be or um, or how you need to do this and you need to do that. But I feel like you, it's like this is the time of your crowning glory, your royal, loyal self and being loyal and loyal to you, to your needs. Not to worry. Archangel Michael says not to worry. These cycles are ending, coming to an end. And here's your wonderful life. And this is uh, Radley Valentine's deck of um, to Angel Tarot. And so this is the sun and the sun is bringing in those beautiful sunflowers. This is a time of great transformation before we take action is that we, we can rest through this and just be divinely guided. Let ourselves move in the flow of the divine, not in control and trying to force and push things to happen because you'll end up in another cycle. And so, you know, the power of positive thinking and inspiring success and so this is bringing forth this beautiful white horse energy riding in is Archangel uh, Uriel riding in. And Archangel Uriel is, I'm trying to see what's behind Archangel Uriel besides the sun. I'm being told to look behind. The rays. So like the rays from the sun. So how the rays, so it's like looking directly into the sun, it hurts your eyes, but to let the rays come down and enter into you, 
let the rays of light enter into you instead of you trying to look into the sun, trying to see into everything. Stop trying to see into everything and figure it all out. Sometimes you just got to say, just I'm releasing it. I don't know who, I don't know what, I don't know why, but I'm releasing it. I'm letting it go. Not trying to say, oh, is it this person? Is it that person? What is it that I need to do? Just letting it go. And then comes in our new beginning. And this new beginning is such a beautiful card because it brings in that, that knowing that you, um, that you know where you've been and you know where you don't want to go again and you know where you need to be. And that is anywhere where there is happiness, joy, love, and peace within your own heart and moving forward. So these are two major arcana cards. And so these are telling me that, you know, this, they're telling me that this is major changes, um, major life changes. We also have over here, we have the devil and the hermit. So over here, the messengers from the raven, the crows was about the mask. And it was also about the, you know, you've been in, um, you've been, you've been in that inward journey and it's time to now come out. Um, you've taken refuge in, in that discovery. And now you're going to be moving forward in that divine time but not to worry about how or why it's going to happen or, or who it needs to be that needs to be removed or, you know, kind of released from this next part of your life. It's you're just going. You're just going. That's all. You're just going. And so then we bring in the, um, the white light oracle. And I love how there's a wolf there and there's a wolf right over my over my computer as I got my computer on a makeshift table. So my, my everything is not very sturdy. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful card. Uh, last year of Paraveda. Last year of Paraveda. Look at this beauty. She's like, that's exactly as I just seen her. No, no, I don't accept your truth. No, I don't accept your judgment of me. No, no, I don't accept that the only way is for me to struggle. No, I see my future. I see my life. I'm trying to find some glasses. Where did you? Her, la, 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 of Parveda. La, la, la. There is a gentler way to proceed and obtain the same or even greater effect. Tame the wild and frenzied workings of the mind by grounding yourself with beautiful, with beauty, pleasure, and grace. Violence and its negative effects shall be overcome and healed through feminine gentleness and inner spiritual strength. This oracle is a sign of greater future happiness. So you just can't make this shit up. That's exactly what we're saying, right? Is that this is the end and it is time for you to start moving into greater happiness and, and allowing to happen is not about you having anything to conquer. It's about you allowing yourself to be guided by these beautiful angelic beings, by allowing yourself to be guided by your higher self, by your sense of knowing your truth and not neglecting to see the truth. You're getting to the core so that, you know, you can take new, you can plant new seeds and start growing this essence of what is that happiness and joy, which is ultimately all of my more than existing work is created about my statement going into my book is um, I'm done. I'm finding joy and happiness no matter the cost. I will more than exist. And the book, first book out was more than existing. And the second book is now, which hopefully, hopefully it'll be being going to print by the end of the month. Um, and that one is my truth beyond the reflection. My truth of existing beyond the reflection. So Paravita is the universal mother in her gentle aspect. Although, as with all mothers, her fierce side will emerge if it's needed to protect her children. She is beautiful and benevolent and evokes the qualities of love, connection, creativity, and devotion 
to higher purpose. The divine goddess has many names and Paravita is also known as Jatapi and the mother of the universe. Her son is Ganesh, the elephant headed deity who fosters success in all new advent, in all new ventures, protection from obstacles and is of particular benefits to those who feel drawn to right. Paravita is the mother to all and her presence in a reading uh, augurs success on every level. When Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, love, and spiritual enlightenment, and Saraswati, the goddess of wisdom, music, and creativity, Paravita is Tridiva, a sacred trine of feminine nature of triple goddess of Hinduism. Paravita is the divine archetype of the vital, competent, creative, and loving woman. When her oracle appears, there is an opportunity to heal one's mother wounds and one's relationship with the more gentle with the feminine more generally. She helps heal wounds, hearts, and teaches us how to belong to ourselves as we are just, just as we are rather than abandoning ourselves to please others. As Travita, when you connect with the Paravita, you also connect to Lakshma, Lakshmi and Saraswati, and all three are one. So this oracle also brings comfort for matters to do the material to do with material prosperity, love relationships, expressing your voice and fulfilling your higher purpose. And so this beautiful card, there's a lot more goes to this, but the essence of this and what she is trying to tell us during this card is the essence of, you know, being at that place of peace within ourselves. To peace means that we start to access that sense of what will bring me happiness and joy and accepting what I know to be not true um, it's not a good way to start. So we can't become our abundant, beautiful life if we keep if we keep accepting the less than the um, the how do I start with this? The garbage of others, <laughs> simplest way that you know you accept the the insecurities, the bad behavior, those things of others, and then you feel responsible for them or their insecurities, their unhealed stuff, and then you accept it as yours and they'll never help us. So this is us being able to move forward. This is us being able to see it more clearly. And this is now the month of it. May the, <laughs> may the force be with you today as the beautiful light and love illuminates upon you as we bring in these beautiful angels, we ask Archangel Michael to take away, cut to help us release and cut, oh, cut the cords, energetic cords to anyone else's language words that come in in such a harsh way that they, uh, that they attach onto you. Anything else that may not be serving you, that it is released, returned with wisdom and love, and that you live in your highest good, each and every one of us and allowing things to happen, not trying to force, because if you keep increasing the ego, that's what keeps growing. It'll create a new identity, a new persona, and um, you need healthy ego. We're not getting rid of our ego. You need healthy ego, but that sense of healthy ego also doesn't come with you, still got something to prove. You have nothing to prove. You're here to live divine purpose. And when you live on divine purpose, you stop trying to prove yourself. You stop trying to hold on to things. You stop trying to do the things that no longer serve you. Have a beautiful month and I will see you in June. Bye-bye.